the rookie quarterback most likely to start. Walk me through it. Rate him for me here. I would say Josh Rosen or Baker Mayfield probably. Like, I don't think Sam Darnold will be ready right away. Uh, and they're not going to rush him. McCown and Teddy Bridgewater there. Josh Allen, uh, again, I think needs time. And A.J. McCarron and Nathan Peterman, I think, will be ready for the opener, uh, vying for that starting job. Um, uh, Josh Rosen, I think, has a realistic chance to win that starting job in camp. He plays great. And, and Baker Mayfield, I know the Browns want to start Tyrod Taylor and intend to start Tyrod well, Taylor. Why is that? Plan. Why is that, Adam? Because they, they, they believe in him. They, they, they traded a pick for him. They think he's the right guy. They don't want to rush Mayfield. But here's the thing. And I say this for any of these rookie quarterbacks, Rich. If any one of these rookie quarterbacks comes out and shows out like Russell Wilson did as a rookie in the preseason when he was a rookie, these teams are going to have a hard time keeping him on the bench. Just going to. And so if Baker Mayfield comes in and plays in the preseason the way that the Browns hope he will and the way they think he can, then you'd have to think that he's going to have a chance to unseat Tyrod Taylor early. And then there's the case of a guy who can't stay on the bench because he's too damn dynamic to keep there. In the, in the case of Lamar Jackson, how's yep. that playing out? Best you can tell in Baltimore. Look, you know he's a ways away. I, you know I think that the best thing that he is going to do for that team this year, uh, he'll obviously bring some big, some bring some big playability. But I think he's already had a huge effect on this team, and that is the sense that I think it's really jump started Joe Flacco and really brought him some added motivation that would not have been there in other years. And we see that in the form of him working out in wide receivers in the offseason, which he's never done before. Uh, we see it. If you keep talk to the people around there, uh, they say he seems a little bit different, a little edgier. And, and I think that anyone, any competitor, when he's challenged like that, is going to respond in a favorable fashion. I think the Ravens believe that Joe Flacco is doing that right now. And that may be, Lamar Jackson's greatest contribution this season. A couple more quick hitters with you, Adam Schefter. Carson Wentz starting on Pup uh, appears for training camp. What about the regular season? Do you think he starts yeah, week not one? A concern. Listen, he's still very far ahead of where they thought he would be. And so they're just going to be very careful. It's July 25th. Again, it's not August 25th. Right. And Carson Wentz is ahead of where they thought he would be. They are very encouraged about that. I think there's a realistic chance he's going to start the regular season opener. And I would never would have thought that when he suffered the injury that they said would be a nine to five month in December, uh, which would have been a rush to get him ready for the opener. But uh, he's Carson Wentz. He's Superman like, and, and I think he is got a real chance to start that opening night game against the Falcons at home. The Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.